Hey guys, welcome back to another plan with me. This week I'm planning from September 26th to October 2nd and I'm using another SPC kit. This one is her Scream themed kit. Um, I picked this kit up right away just because I, I wanted it really badly. This is just like such a cute kit and Scream is so iconic. But um, it worked really well for this week because my boyfriend and I ha watched two of the Scream movies. Um, he had never seen the original Scream all the way through, or any of them, actually. Like, I don't, I think he may have seen, like, clips of the first one, but he's never seen the Scream movies, so, um, and actually, I've, I still have not seen the newest one, so our plan is to watch all of them, and this week we started, um, and, yeah, so I had to use this kit, it was just too perfect, and I'm, more than okay with starting Halloween spreads before October. As you can see, I've been doing them, I think, since like August. I even did some in January. So um, yeah, to me, Halloween kits are anytime kits unless it's strictly like trick or treat, you know, happy Halloween. Other than that, gore, horror, good all year. Um, as far as this week goes, there was, of course, more car drama. We were big in the car drama around this time and um, Joe came back from LA um, so he was back in town and then he also got sick from his trip which is pretty normal. Um, so yeah those were the main few things this week. As far as the spread goes I really wanted to use all of the um, full boxes and I was going to. I put um, three full boxes on my sidebar and then realized I could do what I did previously and just make my sidebar all full boxes and no half boxes. But when I went to rip the full boxes off and move them, I accidentally, um, or no, I went to rip the fourth full box off of the sticker sheet and it ripped. I did it too aggressively and the sticker ripped in half. So, I couldn't use it anyway, so this is what we have. I decided to use the date covers and the deco this week, and I'm really happy with how it turned out. Um, I didn't have appropriate date dots for this week, so I had to break out my white gel pen, which is definitely streaky, but I'm happy enough with how the dates came out. Um, I just didn't really have another option if I wanted to use them. There's no way a black marker was going to show up. But other than that, it's a straightforward spread. Um, and uh, yeah, I'm just going to get started on the day by day, starting with Monday. The first thing I marked was that I had to get up at 6 a.m. this day um, because I was taking the dreaded Nissan to get detailed. And my poor roommate had to get up with me because she had to drop me off. and uh, Or I'm sorry, she had to pick me up. Um, so I got up at 6 a.m., got ready and we went to the detailing appointment, which was at like 8 a.m. or something or no, it must've been earlier than that. But, um, I got there and the guys were really nice. I was also really stressing because again, I have no chill. I was worried that, um, after them looking at the car, the price they quoted me was going to be so much higher because, um, the car is just so, so disgusting, but it was, the exact price they had told me on the phone, they didn't charge me any extra, so that was a huge relief. Um, but yeah, so I dropped it off this day, and I finally used this little Emoti car wash sticker for the detailing appointment. Then under that with a little thing and this, um, this is like a glam planner, um, what do you call it? A grocery bag. I marked that I walked to Aldi and then with a puzzle piece um, that my friend Ilza from Ilza's Melted Plans um, print and cut and sent me, uh, I marked that I worked on a puzzle. Then with a flag and this uh, computer, I marked that I worked with a little thing and this car from Piper Paper Plans. I marked that I went to pick up the car with my roommate so she... Um, drove me at rush hour to pick this bad boy up. Um, and at first I was so happy with the detailing, but after being in the car for a while, I realized that like they did a lot of, like they did all of the stuff I would not have been able to do myself, like, um, shampooing the, um, like the interior. I wouldn't have been able to do that. So it was necessary, but, um, 
it wasn't like one of those detailing shops that you see on YouTube where they literally get every single nook and cranny. They did not get any nooks or any crannies as you may have seen on my Instagram. Um, even after detailing, there was so much work I had to do myself, but it did give me a good, uh, like spot to begin so it yeah it was necessary unfortunately but like that's how bad this car was um I really wish I had gotten better before footage of the car like I took some pictures but I was so anxious to get out of the dirty car that I didn't like take detailed before pictures and I really wish I had um and then the final thing for Monday was that I went to bed earlier early but I still had insomnia so I was sort of a waste and I just used this little insomnia emoji to mark that Moving on to Tuesday with a flag and this munchkin, and she's not a munchkin, she's a Tara from Pumpkin Paper Co. Um, sitting in a chair. I marked that I fixed my um, little like easy chair. It has a removable cover and the cats had gotten a few snags in it. So I used my little, um, I don't know what it's called. It's like a little sewing tool. Um, I used it in order to pull all of the snags back um, through to the back of the chair. Um, then with this heartbroken munchkin, I marked that I just had myself a little cry. Couldn't tell you why. I have no idea what could have happened so far this day to upset me so much, but I'm sure there was something. Um, then with a munchkin on a treadmill, I marked that I forced myself to go on the treadmill. With this Skippy peanut butter sticker from Sticky Perks, I marked that I just had a peanut butter sandwich for dinner. With this cleaning emoji, I marked that I went to um, Joe's apartment to clean his place because I wanted him to come home to a clean apartment. That always makes me happy. And it's just also a lot easier for me to clean when he's not there because he likes to um, micromanage everything. And it ends up turning out so much better when he's not there. Then with this little Piper Paper Plans puzzle sticker, I marked that I did a mini round puzzle from Dollar Tree. Those can be really fun. Um, they're like circular and you start from the inside out. Um, so I did one of those while I watched a movie. And the movie I watched was Where the Crawdads Sing. It was it was okay. It really wasn't that great, but it, I wanted to watch it. I I read the book, hated it, watched the movie. It was whatever. Um... Then with a little thing, I marked that my grandma called me. So I talked to her on the phone for a little while while I did my puzzle. Actually, probably for like an hour. It was a decent phone call. And I just used this little icon I've had left over to mark that. It's supposed to be a cell phone, I think. And then with this uh, Pepsi sticker that I got off a of freebie, I'm blanking on the shop right now. I do apologize. But I marked that I had a Pepsi, which I very rarely have soda. But I do love soda. Um, and when I do have it, it's like my dessert slash like treat I don't drink it with meals um and then the final thing I marked with a Carly Plans TV was that I watched where the crawdads sing moving on to Wednesday the first thing I marked with the squared off box and this munchkin in bed with their phone was that my grandmother woke me up earlier than I needed to get up this day I was going to meet up with her in order for her to give me the title to the piece of crap car and um she called me like 30 minutes before my alarm was going off and she's like are you still in bed and then I told her I was like yeah we're not meeting until 10 she's like oh right I'm sorry go back to sleep and then she just hung up I don't even know what she wanted um and then I couldn't go back to sleep so I just got up and then 30 minutes later she she texts me that they are going to be half an hour late so she really woke me up an hour early so that was just like it was fine but um I hated that um, with a squared off box and this grandma sticker from Fox and Fox and Pip. Why does that sound weird right now? I think Fox and Pip. I marked that I got the title from her. And then we also talked, um, outside for a little bit. The weather was really nice. And we met up in a really cute town, um, like near Cherry Hill, New Jersey. If you're familiar with that area at all, I'm blanking on the name of the town. I'm sorry, but we met there and we just talked for a little while. And of course I made her day. Um, and then under that with an appointment label and this sandwich from Paper Shire, I marked that I decided that today was the day I was going to get my free birthday Jersey Mike sub. Um, I had a couple more months to get it before it expired 
I hope they never change this, but they give you a full year to use your coupon. But there's only one Jersey Mike's in all of Philly, and it's in the train station. So I always get it in New Jersey, and it has to be timed correctly. So this worked out great. I was right near one, and I was hungry, so I got it with a flag and an olive using her planner. I marked that I planned then with a little thing and a treadmill munchkin. I marked that I ran three, I didn't run. I walked three miles with a quarter box and this munchkin on an easy chair watching TV. I marked that I started blonde. I only watched half of it. It was so terrible, like so terrible. One of the worst movies I've ever seen. Um, moving on to Thursday, the first thing I marked with this emoji lifting weights was that I did an arm workout. Then with a flag and a, an emoji on a laptop, I marked that I worked with a squared off box and this angry tra- um, road rage emoji. I marked that I was in, stuck in so much traffic on my way to the airport. Um, to put it in perspective, the whole trip to the airport from my apartment is 20 minutes. Um, I was stuck on this one road this one road that you're usually on for like three minutes. I was stuck on there for like an hour and just getting under this, the like bridge, there's a little underpass that you have to go through. I, I was listening to music. I got my 30, I don't pay for Spotify. I should, but I don't. Um, so I got like the, I listened to all the advertisements. I got the 30 minutes of commercial free listening And then my 30 minutes were up and I still hadn't cleared the bridge. That's how bad this traffic was. It was so terrible. And it must, it was like road work and Google Maps hadn't recognized it yet. So like my time kept going up and Google Maps didn't know why. Um, And so I couldn't even give Joe like a proper ETA. So he was just at the airport waiting for me. But you know what? Things happen. There's nothing I could do about it. It is the only way to get to the airport from where I was. Um, There was no, like, this road is also just like a straight shot. There's no exits off of it. You just get on the road up to the light and turn onto the highway. So I was stuck. Um, Under that with a little thing and these, um, this like munchkin couple, I marked that I picked Joe up finally. Um, with another Skippy jar, I marked that I had another peanut butter jelly, uh, uh, no jelly, just a peanut butter sandwich for dinner, um, with a TV left over from, can't remember the name of the shop, but, um, that annoys me so much. It's not Pink Diamond Planner Co. It's, um, sorry, I can't think of it. You probably know better than I do, but I marked that we watched Dahmer. Then we went for a walk, which I marked with one of my little Nike sneakers from Piper Paper Co. Um, With this Starbucks cup that might be from the same freebie as the Pepsi. Um, I marked that we walked to Wawa to get free um, coffee. Moving on to Friday, the first thing I marked with a pumpkin paper co holding a pillow was that I slept in. With a little thing and a sad munchkin sticker, I marked that I was just having a sad day. With a fancy label and this chips and salsa from a Happy Planner sticker book, I marked that I picked up um, guacamole from Aldi and it was delicious. I was pleasantly surprised. Aldi is very hit or miss with things like that, I think, and it was so good. Not the big tub of all of, of guacamole. It's like the individual servings of the spicy guacamole. So good. And it's actually more cost efficient than the like big tub. And then it's always fresh whenever you eat it. So it's great. I love it. Um, With these little shoes that I got off of a random sticker sheet that was included in an old Glam Planner subscription, I marked that I had to exchange a pair of sandals that my grandmother wanted me to order her. They were too big. So I had to like initiate the return for her and reorder them. With a little thing and these fries from Once More With Love, I marked that we got McDonald's. And then with a half box and all three of the Sanderson sisters, I marked that we watched Hocus Pocus 2. And Joe was feeling pretty sick and tired after his trip, so he fell asleep. He didn't even make it through the whole movie. And then um, I tried watching The Summer I Turned Pretty. I read the books years ago. Um... The show is okay, but I I never picked it up after this night. Um, I just tried it out, and I marked that with a TV icon, um, maybe from this kit. I'm not sure. 
Moving on to Saturday, the first thing I marked with a flag and an emoji using a laptop was that I worked then with a little thing and this emoji lifting weights. I marked that I did my like butt abs workout with a fancy label and um, a munchkin mechanic. I marked that we changed my side markers on my um, car. We changed the light bulbs and replaced the side markers because they were they needed to be replaced with a little thing and an emoji holding a cell phone. Um, I marked that I texted my coworker um, asking for a favor. Then with a little thing and an emoji holding ice cream, I marked that we went to get ice cream. Or did we go anywhere? We might not have even gone anywhere. I might have just, we might, I think we just made bowls of ice cream because again, Joe wasn't feeling great and I am all for staying in. Um, with a movie marquee from the kit that came pre-filled out, I marked that we watched Scream, and then I used a little munchkin ghost face to just write one and two, because because we did watch both this evening. Moving on to Sunday with a fancy label and another Tara holding a pillow, I marked that I slept in. With a little thing and a Stella Bow Sticker Co. umbrella, I marked that it was a rainy day with an appointment label and... Um, this came on a freebie from Carly Plans. It's a little bed. I marked that I took a nap with a little thing and this munchkin drawing. I marked that I did um, one uh, just sketch. Um, I was attempting to do a drawing every day in October, but I was having a lot of trouble um, sketching slash, you know, just like, and I was giving myself like 10 minute limits. I would do the drawing in 10 minutes. So it wasn't even like a time consuming thing, but I was having a lot of trouble doing it on the days I stayed at Joe's apartment just cause I start feeling like, um, not embarrassed, but like, you know, like sort of like stage fright. Like I, I'm really only comfortable drawing when I'm completely by myself or in a class, but like, I'm not comfortable just like drawing at somebody's house. So then the drawings were like adding up and I'd, and I'd do like four in one day and it was just not a good system. I really want to get back in the habit of drawing every day. Um, so yeah, I did draw this day though with a fancy label and this thumbs up munchkin. I marked that I forced Joe to take out his old couch. He had received his new couch like two weeks ago almost and, or no, not two weeks, maybe one week, but it had been long enough to where we, this would be the second trash day that we were gonna miss because we didn't take it out the trash day before and I was not about to have this extra couch in his kitchen. He does not have a big place and there was definitely no space for it. So we got it out of the apartment and it was really difficult. I'm not strong at all and he really needed like another dude there to do it, um, but we did it. I did get my head smashed between the couch and the cement wall. Uh, so that wasn't fun and it was pouring rain, but we got it out with a squared off box and these munchkins in a theater. I marked that we watched Watcher and I liked it. I, I recommend, and it's not the Watcher on Netflix. It's the movie on, I want to say like Hulu or something. Very good. I very much enjoyed with a little thing and deco left over from the kit. I just marked that we watched Dahmer and that was it for the week. Um, as far as my sidebar goes, I marked that Joe was back and I used another munchkin couple to mark that. And then another thumbs up munchkin I used to mark that I just got shit done this week. I got like the car done. I got the title. Um, I cleaned Joe's apartment. Um, what else did I do? Oh, I got my side markers swapped out and yeah, so I don't know. I felt pretty accomplished. I did a lot of things that I didn't want to do this week, but yeah, so that is everything for this spread. I hope you enjoyed. Thank you so much for watching, especially if you stayed all the way till the end and I will see you in the next one. Bye.